In this video, we are going to discuss Laplace transform and ROC of signal function, which we already discussed in very fundamentals of signals and systems. We already have a knowledge about signal function. For that function, we are getting spectrum by using Laplace transform. Whether we will get spectrum by using Laplace transform or not, we will see here. So now, find Laplace transform and ROC of SG and of T. So here, find Laplace transform and ROC of SG and of T means, so now you can see SG and of T, I am considering as my signal X of T equivalent to SG and of T. So for this, I want to consider in terms of unit step, why because if you consider the standard formula, then how you calculate integral minus infinity to infinity signal function into e power minus st dt like that also you can solve. But for that signal function, again you can go for the signal function definition that is that is equivalent to 1 when t greater than 0, 0 when t equivalent to 0 minus 1 when t less than 0 and you need to separate into 3 integrals and you need to consider integration of exponential and so and so. So I want I do not want to do all that procedure to get the for, uh, Laplace transform of signal function. I am just using unit step functions which we already have knowledge of Laplace transform of unit step. So as I can de, uh, define my signal function in terms of unit step then that is very easy to get Laplace transform also. Why? Because we know Laplace transform of unit step. So here I want to write in terms of unit step. So how we can write in terms of unit step means signal function will be like this. So this is u of t, this is u of t and this side if you want this is called as u of minus t. For example, if you are having like this, this is u of minus t. But in signal function you are having reversed u of minus t that means minus u of minus t. So, we can say signal function is the combination of u of t and minus u of minus t. So, from this knowledge we can write u of signal of t is equivalent to u of t minus u of minus t. u of t minus u of minus t will give you signal function. You know that the Laplace transform of u of t is 1 by s. If you want Laplace transform of signal function, you can take Laplace transform of u of t minus u of minus t. Laplace transform of u of t is 1 by s minus Laplace transform of u of minus t is minus 1 by s. So, you will get 2 by s. In Fourier transform also what you got as uh, Fourier transform of signal function 2 by j omega only. In Laplace transforms in j omega plus we need to put s. 2 by s will be signal function Laplace transform by using unit step procedure. Now we need to discuss about ROC. So coming to ROC concept. So here there is no common ROC. Why? Because the pole is 0 and the pole is 0 here. If you consider that pole also one side this is covering so right sided and coming to u of t it is covering purely left sided. One, one u of t is purely right sided and another u of t is purely left sided. Here also we are not having any common ROC. So for signal function also we can say no ROC is there, no region of convergence is there. So like this way we can find the Laplace transform of signal function and ROC of signal function. 